adjusting to university life was fairly different and um, you've become more independent and you you have to just ensure that you, you know you have all the work done and um, whereas with the HND it's more like there are you know it's more one-to-one -one and they really like um, make sure that you know you're being supported and you're you know you've got the work done so in that sense it's really um, different tell us a bit about the HMD course. The HMD course hopes to give students uh, a good foundation in media production. We cover units mainly in kind of radio, moving image and print and journalism. Uh, and then we have uh, theoretical units, more academic units to, to kind of support those. Uh, and we also support them in kind of future employment opportunities through things like work experience. I feel like the change between the HND and the university course has been quite a big difference considering at the HND you were sort of spoon fed your information, whereas at the university course it's very independent. Um, you don't really sort of get as much help as you expect, although you can sort of, you know, go and speak to your personal tutors and your, your teachers on your modules and ask them for help. Um, how do you feel about the communication between the university and the university? Um, so we have what's called a link tutor, uh, who I meet around about four or five times a year, I mean regular email contact, uh, and that link is really strong, uh, and myself and the link tutor built up, a pretty, I'd like to think, a pretty good working relationship over the last sort of three years I've been doing this, uh, and he advised me about how to handle certain, certain things on the course, um, I report to him if I'm having certain difficulties with students, I think that relationship means that when students leave here to go to BCU, hopefully they have a relatively smooth transition. Um, there can sometimes be communication problems sort of behind the scenes with things like admissions or enrolment. Sometimes a student might end up on a list with me at the college, but not always on a list at BCU and vice versa. Um, there are those communication breakdowns sometimes. The, the university and the college have looked at that over the summer. Um, without boring you, but there's like a, essentially there's a, there's, a, there's a different email address, a point of contact, so it's clear. So hopefully that's ironed out those difficulties. But I'd like to think the relationship's pretty good. The communication between BCU was um, quite slow because we, we had to ensure that we were the ones that to email them and um, it, 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 to find out something it was going through like a lot of people, going through a lot of people and um, making sure that we, we were emailing the right people so that was quite hard um, however like the the HND tutor was quite supportive and every time we had an issue we would email him and he would um, make sure you know it would, it would he would sort it out. You sort of had to chase up a lot of things that you wanted to find out so if you needed to do timetable or find out about your modules you had to you know make, send the emails yourself or phone people rather than them, them actually sending you the information. So we only found out about a week before we started, so obviously people were coming from all over the place, you know, from different cities, so, you know, people had commitments and, you know, were working, so that was rather difficult to adjust into, and then um, I think mentally being prepared was quite difficult as well, because not everyone was sure whether they would be in, you know, would get into uni or not. Um, but other than that, I think with the support from the HND tutors, it sort of we managed our way through. Uh, it was difficult to begin with, but once you sort of settle in, it's okay. Um, there wasn't really much help or information given to make that transition between the two, so there could have been more support on that front. Research done by UCOF shows that one in four students suffer from mental health problems. Stress and anxiety are making day-to-day -day life difficult for thousands of students, with nearly half them saying they have difficulty completing daily tasks. 39% of female students have said they've experienced mental health problems, whereas only 19% of males have vocalised their problems. Statistics show that 77% of students have depression-related problems, while 74% experience anxiety-related. A significant amount of students accept that mental illness is as serious as physical illness. In the last year, there have been 134 reported suicide cases at British universities, all linked to increasing levels of stress. On, on the HND course, since I've been course leader, we've not really had too many issues around mental health, to be honest. Um, I teach across other levels in the college, like level two and level three, uh, and there's been probably an increase on those sort of courses and it's, 
especially with things like, um, it tends to be things like sort of anxiety kind of issues or some students struggle with like sleep, you know, and, and related issues to that. Um, on the HND in the last sort of few years, not really, to be honest, we've, we've, we've been quite lucky. Um, if students do have those sort of issues, as I mentioned before, there's support in place, so I can talk to them one-to-one. -one. Um, the college and university have professionals that can talk to them or refer them elsewhere. Um, so we sort of take it seriously uh, and the support there if they need it. But look, you know, quite fortunate, the last few years we've not really had too many issues like that. Yes, I have, and um, I think it's quite different um, whereas with the HND it was quite different because we it, it was difficult to come to BCU and get the right help um, because we weren't on the same campus um, but I think since coming to BCU it's it's helped um, I mean we've been referred to do like counselling and we've, you know, we have someone to speak to um, but I, th I think other than that when we were doing the HND it was you know there is a lack of support there, there are the tutors there, but there is so much that they can do, and you know, and everything that um, you, you know, you said or did was referred back to BCU. So, yeah. Uh, having terms of sort of stress and just sort of the amount of work that you get given is um, quite overwhelming in terms of you're not really expected, you're not really prepared for the amount of work that you set up to do. So you just sort of have a toll on your mental health when you don't really know where you're going or you've got no one to speak to about it. So my job role is that I'm there to support people um, to gain the confidence back, to gain the independence back. The people we see like arrive in mental health, um, it's ages normally about 18 to about 30. Um, it's mostly due to stress or depression. Um, there's a bunch of mental health uh, issues but there's a rise in depression and stress at the moment. I've dealt with quite a few university students because um, they're struggling so much at university um, and they don't always get the support they need so it starts with stress and they don't get help because they'll be like oh we'll get over it and they don't and that normally leads to depression because they feel like they can't cope and they, that they're all alone and that they're the only ones struggling which is not normally true. Once again, just because of the stress, the workload is so high and a majority of the students, they come um, from another city or another country, so they don't have as many friends or family here that they can turn to. Um, so normally because of that, um, the fact that they have to pay for the houses, they have to work alongside university, it just adds to all the problems leading to mental health issues. With Birmingham City University, um, they have a counsellor on site, so you can just go and talk to them. Also, university lecturers, um, during lectures, they always offer support, so they're like, oh, if you need to speak to somebody, you can come and talk to us after lecture, or email us and we'll talk to you. Um, also, uh, stuff like with doctor's notes, you can um, apply for a doctor's note if you have stress, and then give to the university. So they give you extenuating circumstances, so you can hand your assignment in a little bit later than um, you're meant to.